Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is Monday and Monday on this channel now is my weekly weigh-in and the Weight Watchers weekly meeting topic of the week. I did change my weigh-in from Saturday to Monday because my weekends, I'm going to be honest, were getting away from me and you know, you can sit there and have all the willpower you want. It's just hard when everybody's around, snacks are flowing. I just needed more accountability. So for me, changing, I used to get weight, honestly, fun fact, back when I lost most of my weight, I got weight on a Tuesday night. So it's not odd for me to get weight during the week. I switched to Saturdays for convenience uh, for my friend and, and, and the people that I really enjoyed. Saturday meeting people are dedicated. I have always said that if you could get up early on a Saturday morning, you're dedicated to that and I just like the group there so I originally started on Saturday then I moved to Tuesday and then I went back to Saturday so now I am Monday I do not attend Weight Watcher meetings anymore because my center has closed and moved further away it is a 45 minute ride for me each way so honestly I just can't do that this time I just can't I mean once I get back to goal I probably will go maybe once a month for a weigh-in if they still have the lifetime membership but who knows you know a lot of us lifetimers think that they're uh going to kick us to the curb I am a WW lifetime member if you did not know that I am currently a little less than 10 pounds over goal so I'm trying to get back to my goal and like I said and and here's the fun fact if I get there I mean not not if when I get there I am going to go to that center, get weighed in, and then go back and attending the franchise because the franchise will see me for free. They won't accept the Weight Watchers Lifetime has a deal for the Lifetimers, $14.95 a month if they're over goal for meetings and app. That is a, um, a lifetime privilege. Um, but the franchise doesn't accept that they don't believe you know they will charge you their regular fee which is like 50 some dollars a month yeah that's a lot of money so i chose you know like i said if i want to go to a meeting i can i can go on zooms if i want i can attend meetings for 14.95 a month but but here so if i'm back at goal for free they'll see me they won't see me for 14.95 I know makes no sense to me but i definitely will be attending the workshops there because they are five minutes from my house it's a ww philadelphia franchise versus international i did prefer international the rules were actually less stringent on it which is shocking but there's a whole other video so let's get to my weekly way in after three minutes how did you do on the scale day how was your week my week was good my weekends were so much better last weekend and this weekend Definitely, we went out to dinner um, on Saturday, went to my favorite Bonefish Grill. I love Bonefish Grill. I do. And being the fact that I have to get, I was a little bit more, you know, it went a little bit more mindful of what I ordered. I ordered the grilled scallops and shrimp, and I ordered double vegetables. So instead of having, I could have one vegetable, I could have potatoes, I could have had rice, I could have coleslaw. But I thought, you know what? This is a late lunch. We went out for lunch, but it was right up being, I think, 2.30 we went out. So it was more of a late lunch. So I knew that I could possibly want to eat later. Just because you eat a meal out in the afternoon doesn't mean you're not going to not have something later. <laughs> you know, I love the people. Oh, I'm just going to have, I'm going out to eat. That's I'm going you know. Especially when you're on plan and having just fish. There's not a lot of calories in that. You know, so I definitely wanted to keep the door open for something later. And we did have bang bang shrimp to split. My bang bang shrimp points were, I think, 12. I had, for half of the order was 12 points. My dinner was two. My sauce that I chose, the Pan Asian, was two. My dinner was four points. My appetizer was 12. You know, it's called balance. I wanted to have that. So, what could I do to balance that out? Shrimp and scallops with a Pan Asian sauce. There was a chimichurri that I love, but the chimichurri was is ridiculous. It's oil. It's oil, so it's going to be higher in points and calories. But pan Asian, I was nothing wrong with it. It goes really good with shrimp and scallops. So, and the double broccoli was great. And I did have an itsy bitsy piece of bread because you know when you have crusty bread and olive oil, gluten free or not, you're going to dip it. I had the corner, the little we 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 would call the heel or the nose in Italy. Um, I just had the little piece, so it was delicious. So yeah, so I had that meal out. 
the rest of the week was decent. We've had a lot of snow here. We've been snowed in. We had snow all day Friday. We've had snow all day Tuesday. So I have not really been out too much this week. I went out to the store on Thursday. You saw that in my vlog. I went to ask me for some produce. So yeah, and I've been trying to up my vegetable game, which I've talked about. My water this week was bad. I should say last week was bad. I said that in a live last night. I did not. I don't know what it was. Maybe being home. I don't know. My water intake was not where it, even near where it should have been. Um, I looked like I was getting half the amount I wanted to get in. But, you know, my food was decent. Uh, exercise, I didn't get the dog out because of the weather. So some of my exercise, was, I wasn't getting as many steps. It was just too dangerous to take, still too dangerous to take him out. It's frozen. He doesn't have the greatest legs. You know, he has two knee replacements. So I'm not having him slip all over the place. I'm not slipping all over the place. So he, we have the deck set up for him. So all that being said, how did you do this week after six minutes? I was down. I was shocked. because Not that I expected not to be, but I didn't expect to be down 1.2. I was like, ooh, okay, I like that. And I did go back to the regular Weight Watchers plan. I am not doing the diabetic plan, but I am doing the Weight Watchers plan on maintenance. So I'm getting 28 points. It's a nice amount of points to have. Um, definitely, um, for me, I need more than 23. Now, it's not 23. It's not me having, like, extra points for crap. Like, oh, okay, I've, I'm going to have... No. It's just extra points for some oils, some butters, some cheeses, some... I, I count my yogurt. No, not my yogurt. My cottage cheese. I use the 1%. So there's where my points come in. And I don't eat a lot of fruit. So when I have fruit, it is zero. I may have a banana. I may have some grapes. It's not every day. I'm not a fruit lover. It's just not something I gravitate towards. But when I do, I don't feel like I have. I should have to count it. It's not like I'm like, oh my gosh, I ate way too much fruit. I have to, you know, if you're finding you're eating way too much fruit, the diabetic plan might be the plan for you. Because if you have to count it, you're not going to have more than one or two servings. It's three points for a banana and an apple. So you might think about that if you're going to have like, oh my God, fruit's zero. Let's just eat, 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 eat. It's high in natural sugar, which is nothing wrong with that. But if your body's not older and not digesting it like it used to, it might be a little bit detrimental having more than those amounts of serving. So it's always something to think about. So let's get to the topic because I don't want to be here all day. Do you want to watch this all day? How to move more and actually enjoy it. Well, that ought to be interesting because, and you know, I've talked about joining a gym. I will tell you, I do have a free day pass for the gym by my house, it expires in two weeks. I applied on Friday, so I have two weeks to use the free pass. So I hopefully I will get there. If not, I'll use my other email and create another one. That's how you get around it. Feeling meh about your current activity routine or looking to start a new one? I'm looking to start a new one. The key is to first consider how you want to feel and go from there. Think about how you want to feel during and after being active. Well, I want to feel more energy. I want to feel better. I want to feel like positive. I want my mindset to be really positive. I hear people keep saying, oh my gosh, once I worked out, I was so positive. I don't get that way. But I'm hoping maybe trying to be more, you know, mindful of that and maybe open my mind. Because sometimes we're stuck in these ruts that we think this and we think that. And maybe it's just us, like to the people who think like certain foods are bad, like it's their mindset. There's no food that's inherently bad. It's the amount of food we have of that. You know, everything, you know, even olive oil, if you have it in too much is bad. If Butter, if you have too much of it is bad. But if you have little bits of things, of anything, processed foods, like, oh my gosh, you can have a hot dog once in a while, but you can't have hot dogs every day. But yeah, the occasional hot dog is something wrong with a hot dog, you know, or, or like a meat stick. I tend to not have the same repetitive things every day. So keep things in with, with exercise. I want to feel calm, yoga, Pilates, stretching, and hiking. I want to feel energized. Walking, jogging, cycling, team sports, skiing, and swimming. Well, XXX on those. Strong, another one I want to feel. Strength training, kickboxing, bar, rowing, body weight exercises. That's what the doctor suggests for me. He thinks I'm burned out on cardio because I do cardio every day. He says, nothing wrong with cardio. He says, but sometimes you could burn out on it where your body's just stopping whatever it helped. So you have to really change it up. Like you should never 
do things repetitively. Like even the same, even strength training, like would you do that every day? No, you would like do strength training, cardio. Like you should alternate things and take breaks in between. Happy. Why would you feel happy? Dancing, skating, gardening. Gardening, gardening does not make me happy. <laughs> Tennis, pickleball, team sports, and trampoline. Trampoline would make me feel happy. Other, what activities align with your feelings? I like the dancing. It's kind of like, do you ever see that girl Misty Tripoli on YouTube? She's always doing those things where she's getting down and she's just kind of gotten that movement going. You should check out Misty Tripoli and you will see that her stuff is very, it's very inspiring and it gets you kind of happy. Narrow down activities based on what else you know about yourself. Lazy. I know that about myself. I like to spend time with just me, myself, and I, one or two friends, or a group. I like, I could do one of all three, honestly. I like to be active at home, at the gym, or fitness studio, outside in nature, in a pool. All of the above. I would just one of those people, all of the above. I could do home, I could do the gym, the outside, and the pool. I mean, I just, I'd like to do everything. Like, I'm just one of those people, I'm su such a social person, which is sometimes I don't realize that about myself. I try to unsocialize myself. And I'm really a social person. So I would love to go to both. That's why I'm thinking of the gym. I really want the female gym, though. I feel like I would do, I would thrive better there, but it's way too hard and a little bit more expensive. So we'll see. Number three, make a plan based on your answers, then put it into action. I want to feel energized, so I'll try the gym and I'll ask my son because he goes there to join me at the virtual location I've got energy and can make time in my schedule I have time after the dog goes out like right this time this time it's around 8 40 I have time now I get Bailey out and this would be the time that I could actually go to the gym so I actually would not work out with Peter because he goes around he goes after breakfast I'd rather go early get it done get myself set for the day because if I have to think about it I probably won't do it let's dive deeper no matter how much your friend raves about her cardio class or how great swimming is supposed to be the perfect activity doesn't exist so true and it might not be that way for you just because somebody loves exercise doesn't mean you're gonna love it and I think sometimes people love it for the wrong reasons there are people out there that think they will gain weight if they don't exercise. So they're a little bit obsessed. Like, oh my gosh, if I don't work out, I'm going to gain weight. I'm going to get fat. Oh yeah, there are people out there. See, for me, I didn't need exercise to lose weight. And you don't. So I always have that in my head. I just want to be stronger. Yes. More energized. Yes. But it's not going to affect my weight loss. And that's what I have to keep in my head. I'm doing it for toning up not losing weight there's a difference and i think some you gotta watch because there's people i'm telling you there are people that they gotta burn those calories and they won't eat if they don't so that's a bit scary to go on that side of the fence too so instead of chasing what you think you should do be a detective collecting clues to figure out what you actually like then put those pieces together want to feel strong but not a fan of the gym find an app or an online program with an at-home body weight exercise love being in nature but not flying solo, look for a hiking club or start your own. I've often thought of that. I've often thought, I mentioned that in um, the our little area Facebook group and somebody was like, oh, that'd be fun. And I never followed up on it. Of course, now it's the dead of winter. Who wants to go out in the middle of this ice and do that? But maybe in the spring, I should bring that up again. It's okay. It takes Goldilocks style trial and error to find things that are just right. The best type of movement is whatever feels doable and yes, fun. Fun to you. Prioritizing your enjoyment comes with an added bonus. It rewards you for putting your efforts into this journey, which could lead to even more success. You will gain points the more you move. And depending on your activity is the amount of points that you achieve. But for me, I think any points are good points. Any points are good points. And that's it. And those points, you don't look like to work at you. Yes, yes, yes. You need to eat those points because you've earned them. And you, Weight Watchers, and I talked to somebody on there, you will not earn more than you burn. So if you're getting these points and you're not using them, that could be a reason your weight loss is stalled. That could be a weight loss. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're having issues losing weight, odds are, and I know it sounds weird to say it, but you're not eating enough. And if you're putting out so much exercise and not putting in that 
stuff to, to for your body, you're not doing yourself anything. You're not, you're hurting your body. Food is a necessity. It is not an enemy. That's a big one. People sometimes be on a weight loss journey a long time and find that food is naughty. Food is bad. Food is the enemy. Or I love when they call it food is fuel. No, food is nutrition. Food, we need it. It's not, you know, you don't, you have to think of it as food and it's good for you. It's not the enemy. It didn't make you fat. It didn't make you big. It's the amount that you had. So don't starve yourself because you're afraid to eat. And I think sometimes you've got to watch. There's that little fine line and I've seen it. It could happen. So I worry about that with a lot of you. Like when, That's why I try to be very cognizant of what I say because I don't want people to go You've seen people go from overeating to undereating and over exercising. That is not what it's about. It's about keeping everything in moderation, keeping everything balanced. And balanced people do well. Balanced people are healthy. Balanced people are not obsessed about their weight. I am coming to the point where I'm not obsessing anymore. And I said it to you in that video I'm done. I'm done worrying about it. It is what it is. If I didn't lose this week, so be it, I move on. You can't sit there and worry about one or two pounds in the grand scheme of things, or even 10. I'm healthy, I'm 100 pounds down. Let's think about that. Let's just enjoy that moment and be like, yes, you lost 100 freaking pounds. Oh, the 10 that you're dealing with, big freaking whoop. I have to realize where I'm at. And the fact that if I stay here for the rest of my life, I'm healthy, I'm a success. And don't forget that, and so are you. Let's do three fast facts. Being active can help you lose more weight and keep it off compared to only changing your diet. I don't know about that. Uh, I think changing your diet comes first. I think the losing the weight should be dead center and the activity should come second or third. I definitely think it's what you put in versus what you used to put in. So, but you should be active, yes, absolutely. You should definitely move. And let me tell you something, some of us can't move till we lose a little bit of weight, because it's hard. And it's not good on your ankles, your knees, and your hips to put a lot of weight on them, banging them, you know? There's, you're not gaining anything, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself. So you have to wait till you're at a good weight to move heavily. Definitely any movement is good movement. Even walking around, don't poo poof walking. Walking is a weight-bearing exercise. It's all your body can take. To do something heavier when you have 100 plus pounds to lose, you don't want to do that. Trust me, I couldn't. And I knew that. I knew that I could not move. And you're, you, it's on your heart, let's forget about your heart. Putting, taxing that heart muscle because you have too much weight to do it. Take your time. There are chair exercises out there you could do sitting down. Any movement is good movement. Choosing an activity based on how it makes you feel helps you be consistent. Sure it does. If you like something, you're gonna do it. And if you don't like something, you're not gonna do it. Or you have the mindset, well, I need to be challenged. If that works, that works. Don't work for me, but it might work for somebody else. <laughs> Enjoying the activity increases the likelihood you'll keep doing it. Yep. If you like something, if you're, and especially if you're doing group activity and you get to see your peeps, that makes it fun. Now, y'all know I host a, uh, a walking group here on, well, it's actually not here on YouTube. It is on Zoom, but it is with my Facebook group, Dish With These Crew. It is called Glam Squad. We get together 2.30 Eastern time every day for a 20-minute Leslie Sansone walk. You walk at your own pace. You walk as far as you want. You walk as fast as you want. You do what you want because we all walk differently. What we do is we put, go on Zoom, we share the screen with the video, and we are all down. I show it all the time on my videos. We are the little blocks going over. And if you're not comfortable having somebody watch you walk, then turn your camera off. Say hi, turn your camera off, and then when we're done, we chit chat for about eight to 10 minutes. You can turn your camera back on and say, hi, how you doing? And we talk to each other because we're social butterflies. We're social beings. And to connect with people, we started that over um, COVID because we were locked down and we needed to do something. And it's been going on since 2020. It'll be the four year anniversary of Glam Squad in April. I don't even know what to say that I've actually done something that long. 
four years. I host it on Wednesdays and Miss Lori hosts it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And all the information is in the Facebook group. If you do not do Facebook, please email me at dishwithd at yahoo.com and I will hook you up with the meeting code. It's always the same. Once you get Lori's code and my code, it's the same. My Anytime I do a Zoom, it is the same code. Anytime Lori does a Zoom, it's the same code. So it's not like you have to keep getting it every time. You don't. You get it once, you have it. You go into zoom.com, join a meeting, put the number in, put the password in, and you come in. Like I said, don't feel embarrassed. You don't need to because you're amongst people who understand. I get it. They all get it. And you will meet this lovely group of ladies. There is no men. You will enjoy this lovely group of ladies and you will find that they're very much informative. They're very much supportive and you just might be the group that you need. So I highly recommend it. Like I said, that's the activity I do. And besides walking the dog, which I haven't done, but usually Bailey gets to walk three times a day because he has two ACL repairs. So walking is the best exercise for his arthritis. So it, he goes out three times a day. I do it twice and then the, uh, either Steve or the, uh, Peter does it at night. But I haven't been able to do it. You know what? And here's the thing. I'm not sitting there saying, oh, I need to get out there and walk. No, it's bad out. Have that mindset to know that I don't need to do it to be successful. Like there are people that if they can't exercise, they go a little bit, ooh, ooh. No, that's, that's the over the other side. We don't want to go there. We want to be like, we don't need it. We want, need, we want it. Don't be dependent on anything. That's a positive mindset. If you're dependent on exercise, if you go crazy because you can't exercise, you need to relax. That's a problem. We don't want to trade one problem for another. We want to be balanced. That's what this lifestyle is about, being balanced. Some weeks are bad. Some weeks are good. Some weeks are okay. It's all about balance and balancing life. And that's what we do here at Dish With Date. So that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of this week's topic? What is your form of enjoyable movement? Let me know in the comment section below. It could be anything. You know, we all do different things. You know, I, I don't judge. I hope you don't judge me either. Uh, so I will dish with you. I don't know what I was going to say. I will dish with you another day. If you are new here, welcome. If you've not yet hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D. We do realistic weight loss chit chat. If that's something you're interested in. We do lives here. Like I said, fantastic Facebook group, very supportive community. And join us at Glam Squad. You got nothing to lose but getting some extra steps in. I'm telling you, all helps. Movement, any movement is good movement. So I will dish with you later. Have a great rest of your week.